Hey guys, so anyone who's owned a local game store will tell you it is a buy hate, buy love, buy love, wow, uh, buy uh, love hate relationship with owning a game store. Um, I've had one since 2016, and it has been both great times and also really bad times. And one of the issues I have is the employees have not been very good. Um, that is my issue, right? Uh, it's an issue based on me not hiring or interviewing the right people or candidates. And again, that's, you know, I mean, who else uh, can you blame but yourself for that issue? Now, on top of this, um, I will say that you know, in running a game store in today's economical environment is very difficult. Uh, you're always going to be undercut by somebody. It's just Amazon. It's an alpha investment. There's always some dude out there. Is it just a random neighbor who has a distributor account? Is it your own distributor <laughs> trying to undercut you? Uh, there's always somebody willing to sell cards cheaper than you are. And in reality, that's just how business works, right? It's the race to the bottom right now. Um, there is no real opportunities, in my opinion, holding these boxes or holding these singles when they continue to go down almost every single day. Um, I do think that in terms of what is happening in the economy, uh, we do have a election year. This will be very, very important um, in terms of who wins, who loses, and how the government may eventually change. I do believe that things can go from bad to good, and things can go from okay to really, really bad. Uh, it really depends on a lot of, you know, often magic players don't want to think about politics, but politics does control a lot of the decisions that are being made in the country, and therefore economic decisions uh, and the elected officials or the appointed officials, right? They're either elected or appointed in our U.S. government do have much sway in terms of what they can do or what they cannot do. Um, again, let's just talk about these game stores and talk about um, are they profitable or are they not profitable. Owning a game store is weird. Uh, the cash, you never get cash. You, you never, ever get cash. What you get instead of cash is you get more inventory. And you get more inventory and more inventory and more inventory. So you, it's never like cash me out. Um, it's always inventory, inventory, inventory. And you just stockpile inventory. And then one day, uh, one day you, um, you basically have a ton of of uh, magic or Pokemon or whatever you have, right? Um, it is quite fascinating in my opinion, right? To see just how much that has changed, how much that hasn't changed. Uh, but in terms of where this is heading, I do believe that there's more card games, there's more options. Locana is coming out pretty hot. One Piece, you know, I, I do... I'm always cautious around anime theme just because I know back in the 2005s, I played Inuyasha TCG. There was Dragon Ball from Score. Dragon Ball has done multiple iterations of itself. Um, there was uh, Shaman King. There was Bleach. Bleach had a card game. There was Yu Yu Hakusho that had a card game. And there was a lot of different card games out there for anime. And as soon as the anime ended for Inuyasha, there was no card game. Right? The series ended, there was no more cards to print, and it was done. It was like, all right, let's wrap it up, we're done. Uh, and that has you know, one piece, even though... Uh, they actually had a Naruto card game, too. Yes, I remember, I have some of those cards. Um, they had a Naruto card game, and as soon as Naruto ended, the card game died. And th that's kind of where it is, uh, in my mind. Now, do those cards still have value? Yeah, they still actually do sell for quite a bit of money, actually, online. But the, the demand, the liquidity is very limited. And I'm always worried more about liquidity than I am worried about um, anything else. Um, I mean, just straight up honest with you, liquidity is the basis of any card game. So we got Flesh and Blood. I haven't talked about Flesh and Blood in a long time. Um, it's quite interesting, in my opinion, where it is currently. I would definitely suggest that, you know, Maybe uh, take a look at it. So you obviously you have Pokemon, you have sorcery. I have never really talked about sorcery because that's not something that I have looked into. 
I don't have a million different hours, right? Weiss, there's also Weiss, right? Obviously, there's Weiss, right? Um, there are a lot of mother I think card games right now. There are just so many card games, and I'm not positive why. Um, to be quite honest, most of them should have been like Meta Zoo or something like that. Like a lot of this stuff is teetering. I think Meta Zoo, the Hello Kitty box is like fifty-eight dollars a box, maybe forty-eight. It continues to drop, and that would <laughs> very concern me as a Meta Zoo player, if there are any left. Um, market tips from MTG Finance Guru Cassie Lab. What is that? Okay, so TCG player, the people selling you the cards are now going to give you market tips. I'm sure that's not a bad idea at all. Oh, okay, let me go to UFO is sitting at twenty six dollars a box. Oh, forty eight. Yeah, Karami's crypt. That means that dude lost a lot of money. And it's still tanking. 48. Oh, he's got a lot of these boxes at 40. He got 42 boxes at 48 a box. And they're selling like hotcakes right now for him. Well, I mean, hotcakes, eight boxes sold, right? Um, quite fascinating. He, he's, he does want $6 shipping. So it is what it is, right? Um, Max X, he's not a... Oh, he's a new seller. So this guy just... I mean, this guy just put up 50 boxes of Hello Kitty. You know, that that would worry me. I'm, I'm very worried about a lot of these games that people invest in, and they don't really know why they invested in it, but they put money in it, and they don't like the game. They're just sitting on the game. Back to the game store. I do expect uh, I will have one open by December of 2024. And the reason is for that delay is, you know, working on building my, my significant other and I are working on building a family right now. Um, and that will take a lot of resources, a lot of time. But we have both agreed that once things are, we're going to get a nanny, all pair, whatever it is. Uh, once things are a little bit more calm, we're probably going to open a game store together in, in uh, Houston. Uh, we're also looking at like maybe different homes to buy, maybe looking to buy a bigger home. I live in a beautiful home right now, but, you know, it's it's really hard uh, to make content. There's a lot of noise and background noise just because of where I live. Uh, it's, even though the home is nice and the backyard is really big, um, there's a lot of noise. So I will be opening a game store, and I think uh, in terms of what that means and what that means for me is that uh, I'm very open to buying inventory now putting it in storage, and also the, if, if the good deals are happening now, I want to be part of those deals. I'm basically a buyer back in, but I won't be paying buy lists. I realize that paying buy lists for like the highest buy list is just insane, especially since I take all the product, and these buy lists sometimes, like David Adams, would take two boxes. I took 20. Well, that's your problem right there. That's why I figured out the problem was with my buying. Anyway, that is it, guys. <laughs> Let me know if you have something... Something interesting to sell.